Washington, D.C. U.S. President Donald Trump may have avoided getting entrapped into a bad deal by refusing to accept dictator Kim Jong-un's scant denuclearization offer in exchange for major sanctions relief at the second unprecedented summit with North Korea earlier this year, a renowned expert on negotiations with the rogue regime told lawmakers Tuesday. Dr. Victor Cha who served in the George W. Bush White House and is now the Korea chair at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, testified before the Senate Foreign Affairs Subcommittee on East Asia and the Pacific alongside Kelly Magsiman from the Liberal Center for American Progress, CAP. Both experts discussed U.S. policy towards North Korea following the second summit that failed to convince the regime to take credible steps towards the complete, verifiable, an irreversible denuclearization of the Korean peninsula in exchange for relief from crippling economic sanctions and security guarantees. The two unprecedented meetings between a sitting U.S. president and a North Korean leader at Singapore in June 2018 and in Vietnam in late February 2019 failed to deliver an agreement on denuclearization. Moreover, Cha and Magsiman determined North Korea has continued its nuclear activities despite the negotiations, echoing recent U.S. intelligence assessments. Both experts, however, conceded the Trump administration's economic pressure campaign is having an impact on the negotiations, citing Kim's insistence on getting sanctions relief. The two experts believe the sanctions have granted the Trump administration leverage in the U. S. North Korea talks. Despite acknowledging that the economic pressure campaign on Kim is bearing fruit, the CAP expert urged the Trump administration in her written testimony to explore what limited sanctions relief might support an interim agreement without necessarily removing leverage. I want to be clear at the outset that I am a strong supporter of diplomacy with North Korea, but I want to also be clear that I think the administration is doing it wrong, Magsiman stated. In his written testimony, Cha, who also serves as a professor at Georgetown University, declared. The president indeed may have avoided getting entrapped into a bad deal at Hanoi. What North Korea put on the table in terms of the Yongbyon nuclear complex is a fraction of their growing nuclear program that does not even break the surface of their underlying arsenal and stockpiles of fissile materials, not to mention missile bases and delivery systems. And what they sought in return, in terms of major sanctions relief on five UN Security Council resolutions that target 90% of their trade, would have removed one of the primary sources of leverage, albeit imperfect, on the regime. In this instance, no deal was better than a bad deal. Dictator Kim has reportedly offered to demolish the Yongbyon nuclear plant and other facilities for making nuclear bomb fuel. Nevertheless, Kim has continued to enrich uranium at the plant following his first summit with Trump last June. Trump expressed disappointment at reports of ongoing missile and potential nuclear activity in North Korea 